What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. In the background, we have our next installment of going for the 70 kill challenge in TDM. Of course, I have a little bit of a twist on it because I'm going to do it in the hardcore mode, which I find actually more difficult to do because there is literally no forgiveness in hardcore. I mean, you die, you're done. You get shot at, it's over. So uh, in this one, little different setup than what I've been using in the last ones. I'm on Redwood and I make a mistake in my class setup. I didn't switch it fast enough. I have the ELO sight on instead of the BOA3. And when you're playing on Redwood, you need that BOA3 sight so you can pick up these guys in the woods or in the foliage. It's just, it makes it a lot more simple, okay? This ELO sight held me back a little bit. I got a stock on there and I also have extended max. I run extended max because I'm not going to run scavenger on the dingo. Uh, my perk loadout is hardwired, fast hands, dead silence, awareness. I'm not running a lethal. Uh, I think I may even have overclock on on this one. I can't remember on that. So I, I'll check. If, if I can figure it out, I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, as for kill streaks, I'm running the sentry gun, the wraith, and the wraps. But my big issue in this game, man, I just got too passive. You know, one of the things, once you get your first set of streaks in, it is so important that you don't die because you want those wraps and the wraith and the score you get off of those kills to start to stack to your next streak. And I keep that in mind, but I held way too, way, I held back way too much, man. And it makes me mad because this game, I could have done it in this game. Uh, I knew they were spawning on the bridge and I lingered right off the spawn and I should have just pushed in. So, there's that. I'm not going to spoil the score. Just watch. It's a great gameplay. It really is. I almost nuked this lobby, too. Uh, I have a couple topics I want to bring up, though, because I want your guys' opinions on them. Uh, one of them was brought up by Spartan Texan, and uh, he asked me, are we too old to game? You know, I'm 35, and I think a lot of the people who watch my channel, I think you guys are in your upper 20s, early 30s, maybe even older than me, and, uh, and we're gaming. And I, I don't know if in lobbies you guys ever get people talking smack to you. It doesn't really happen that much anymore to me. But, you know, why, for some reason, there's this preconceived notion out there that if you play video games, you're supposed to be young. And if you're older and you play them, you're considered immature. You know, I've been playing video games all the way back since Atari, Nintendo, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Genesis, the Game Gear, you know, the SNES, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, pay, PS4. I mean, I've been gaming for at least half my life. I don't find it as an issue. It's, it's a hobby for me. I enjoy it. I even think that the video game industry is tailored toward the older generation, the 30 plus. I mean, we are the main purchasers of the games and the consoles. The games are even tailored to us. I mean, most of the game titles produced these days seem to be in the mature category. So what are your guys' thoughts? Are we too old to game? And on this same token, Mr. Tracky had a TSG upload uh, last week, and he talked about being addicted to gaming. You know, people think that because you play a video game every night or every other night, and you sit down and you, you game for a 45 minute to an hour and a half session that you're addicted. No, I don't, I don't believe that. Now, there is addiction to video games, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's some kids who sit daily and play six to 10 hours a day on video games. That's an issue, but sitting down every day and playing a video game for an hour, two hours, if that's what you do in your leisure time, there's no issue with that. I mean, because if you consider that an addiction, then what do you call the guy who sits down and watches a football game for three hours? How about a baseball game for three hours? What about a basketball game? And there's far too many games on TV these days. What, I mean, what about a hockey game? How about the people who watch movies every night or watch, you know, two hours of TV shows every night? Are you guys addicted to TV? Or what about the, your girlfriend or your wife who sits down and scrolls through her feed on Facebook for three and a half hours? Or sends emails? Or somebody who surfs the internet for three hours? Or, or sits down every night to read the newspaper or a book for three hours? Are they addicted to reading? I mean, we don't, we don't put that into the category of addiction, so why would you put gaming into that category of addiction? Personally, I like gaming because I'm involved in my entertainment. I'm not just mindlessly staring at a TV expecting them to do everything for me, tell me the story, show me how it unfolds. In gaming, I get to control the outcome in some respects, especially online gaming. And then plus, when I'm watching TV, I can't communicate with anybody. I'm not interacting. I'm just mindlessly staring at a computer screen. Whereas in gaming, I can talk to my buddies, people from all over the world. I can do fun stuff. It's, it's exciting. I mean, that's my opinion on it. I don't believe I'm addicted, even though I've played Call of Duty nearly daily for the last six years. And like I said, my average session is probably about 45 minutes to an hour, and 
I primarily game at night. I don't know about you guys. So what do you think? What do you think? What do you think about Spartan Texan? Are we too old to game? What do you think about Mr. Tracky? Are we addicted to gaming? I mean, I want your personal opinion on this. It, it means a lot to me to hear what you guys have to say. As always, if you enjoyed the game, hit that thumbs up button. If you like the topic, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. And if you want more, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And this, this TDM should have been so much better. I'm sorry. Passivity. It kills these games. So, all right, man. Have a good one. Objectives met. Prep for evac.